when I talk to tax professionals, especially when it's in the off season, because during busy season, we all know what we're working on. But I find that during the off season, this is where the money is actually made for tax and accounting professionals. When it's not as busy, when we're in the extension world, when we're in tax planning time, this is the, the prime opportunity to be working on our practices and on our businesses. And a lot of people don't take it, whether they're sipping margaritas by the pool or just wasting time with dragging out extension work and not really doing anything to, to prepare for the busy season that's to come. I wanna know what are you and your team working on like right now? Yeah, that's a great question. So the, the way that our office locations run is we, we have a team leader in, in each office location and uh, depending on what that person's goals for their office, they have a lot of uh, sway and, and say over what goes on for that particular office location. I think for us, a big thing right now is to um, keep in contact with our clients uh, outside of tax season. And a big focus for us has been to go from being a what business. So this is where I do my taxes. They take care of my taxes to a why business of, yes. you know, I go to these people because I trust them and, and they take care of me. And so I think with, with being active about correspondence, you know, the stuff that we've been trying to keep in touch and educate people about the different stimulus bills, um, you know, putting out education and staying in contact with people. That's really what we're trying to do is, is go the rest of the way from, you know, from being a what business to a why business. And part of that as well right now that we're working on is, which I think probably is relevant to a lot of um, other people that are on the call is uh, doing a better job of segmenting our client list, you mm -hmm. know, and, and be able to, um, to correspond with the right people in the right way. Um, yes. And, and, you know, there's some, there's some list segmentation stuff. Like for instance, we have a lot of Spanish speaking clients so, um, you know, which clients would, would prefer to speak Spanish um, or receive Spanish correspondence? Like we haven't done the best job of segmenting our database on that type of thing. So just working on some kind of like nuts and bolts and, uh, but also just trying to be, just trying to let people know that, you know, we actually care about what's going on with you and, um, you know, and we're, we're experts who care about you. That's kind of our, our tagline. I feel I don't want to put you on the spot and embarrass you, Andy, and this maybe would embarrass us more than anything else, but you are aware that we provide all of our marketing in Spanish, right? Well, that's the thing is it's kind of like uh, I am a little bit embarrassed. You know, that's what I was going to ask you, too, at the beginning of the web I'm like, is it OK if I just keep it real with everybody and, and you know, just let like we don't do everything. <laughs> But like, I'm here to show you how to do everything perfectly. You know, I mean, there's a lot of things, honestly, that we could be doing that we're not doing mm -hmm. um, and that we that we want to do. So it's like, you know, it's, it's kind of that balance right between being grateful for where, where you are, uh, but also not being satisfied. And so a lot of the resources that you guys offer as far as the Spanish language, also the um, the tax problem resolution email sequences. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. we actually haven't been successfully deploying those. And so I'm a mix Nate between embarrassed, but also I'm like hopeful for the future. 